alone has dealt with close to 70 cases of attempted suicide. It's in this regard that the hospital's management is set to hold an open forum next week to find solutions to this worrying trend. Our reporter Grace Kuria visited Kangundo and now brings us a report on the current situation. Kangundo constituency in Machakos County. It's just a normal day with business activities going on as usual. But there is a problem that needs to be urgently addressed. I only looked at last year, that is 2018 March to April 2019. So I realized within that span we have 66 people, that is male and female, who tried to commit suicide by taking these substances which we call organophosphates. Just Thursday, the facility discharged about 10 of those patients. The males were 52, the females were 14. I also went ahead and looked at the age gap. Above 50, there were only four. The rest were below 50 years. And when you look at it, you realize that it is all about males, the males of this community. Women talk, women cry. Women will just go and share with their friends, men don't. They feel like it's the weaker side. If, if, I, if I'm crying to my friend, telling about my wife, it's a weaker side. But there are other contributing factors to these cases. So these substances are there in our veterinary shops. You aggravate, you find that those drugs, you can even send a child, go and bring me this cattle dip, I want to spray the goats, I want to spray the dogs. So they, they, they think that if it can kill a tick, it can also be used by me to take life when all is gone. Yet again, we remind you of some of the signs of depression. We won't tire. Without realizing they are depressed, they'll keep isolating themselves from other people. If it's a student during break time, he or she feels that I'm okay staying alone. They'll not share their problems. They'll start even neglecting their self-hygiene. They'll not do not take a shower. Really alarming figures there, I must say. 66 cases of attempted suicide. And don't forget, those are the ones that found their way to the record books. How many more have not been recorded? So we now want to find out what really is the problem by speaking to the residents of Kangundo. <laughs> This trend is not only worrying to Kangundo residents, but even to the president, as per his Madaraka Day speech. And to anyone, any Kenyan out there, who is struggling with depression or feelings of hopelessness, I indeed do beseech you to reach out and talk. You are not alone. Now, next week, Wednesday the 12th, we will be back here in Kangundo where there will be an open forum between the residents themselves, those we call the case studies, they will be opening up to various health stakeholders, the relevant authorities, just to tell them what really is 